Did you know that there's a Lunar New Year sale currently happening at the EA store until February 20th, where you can save up to 80% on select Sims 4 titles? Don't forget to apply the code Urban Sims upon checkout. Although it isn't a discount code, I do earn a small commission, which directly supports the channel. So thank you. Welcome back to the channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims Pet Stories. So Alice is up bright and early this morning. She's currently reading a book. I think this book just so happens to be about romance, which is really honestly very ironic because I think later on today, Thomas is supposed to be coming over. And of course... <laughs> <laughs> Sam is tearing up the couch again. And I think, you know, I think honestly, Sam is doing it for attention. I really do. But look at the way that Sam is looking at me right now. Sweet boy. I need to come over here and scold Sam for destroying the furniture because we really do need to start instilling a little more discipline. I feel like sometimes Alice is very lenient because in many ways, Sam is their fur baby. I don't know, though. Is Sam a boy or a girl? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments down below. Actually, you can scratch that because I just discovered the answer to my own question. Underneath is Sam's petology, which I think is such a cute name for it, by the way. We can click on this little pet bio, and there we have the answer to our burning question. Sam is a good dog with a bad behavior problem. He has the heart of a true champion within him. So I guess as it turns out, our four-legged friend is a boy. I'm glad we were able to clear that up. <laughs> um, anyways, we're outside hanging out with Sam. We did a little bit of fetch with the stick. That was super cute. And now we are trying to teach Sam how to roll over. And I love how patient Alice is being with him. Like She is really breaking it down step by step. I have never trained a dog, so I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not, but I kind of like envision you would grab the dog and start showing them what the hell you want them to do, but that's just me. Oh, oh my gosh. Good job, Sam. Good boy. I didn't realize we were... Um, <laughs> We're starting a little collection of newspapers. I'll make sure to have Alice come in and uh, clean those up. We also completed this painting here, which we can sell for 400 and 40 freaking six simoleons. I feel like that's actually a pretty, a pretty decent price here. So I'm gonna zoom through just to see if maybe we can get a little bit further into the training. I don't think we completed it, but we have officially entered chapter three, which is called Doggy Play Date. Y'all don't even know how excited, how excited I've been. And it seems like a few of you in the comments are also really digging at Thomas too. Oh, Sam, come on, not again. Poor Alice can't even go into her bathroom and take a dump in peace because Sam is forever causing chaos. And now we have no other choice but to scold him again. And as you guys saw, we already did that this morning. It's kind of funny because he's not stupid. Like he's not stupid at all. Like he knows what he's doing. Right after he dug that giant hole, he walked ever so slowly to his doghouse and took a nap. It really does bring whole new meaning to you're in the doghouse, but I don't have the heart to wake him up right now. I don't think I'm going to do that. Well, maybe I have to. Maybe we'll just scold him for being filthy because he's digging in a hole. I kind of consider that being more destructive than filthy, but I do guess like you you do get you do get dirty so <laughs> and the fact that alice is like <laughs> still in her pajamas at like one o'clock in the afternoon. She is quite honestly the epitome of unbothered and I'm living for it. Together, they are the most dynamic duo. So let's just go and get this over with. I'll have Alice come over here and she'll fill up the hole because if she doesn't, you know, maybe just hopefully wishful thinking, we'll be able to put Deborah in it and we'll be able to marry her. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. But I don't think that's gonna, I don't think it's gonna pan out that way. Well, it might, I actually don't know. Oh, great. What else could go wrong today? <laughs> uh, now the sink is broken. I'm gonna need to call a plumber to fix this. My kitchen sink broke. I can't believe my rotten luck. I need to call for repairs before my house floods. Hang on a second. I'm taking a look here through our service phone book. Just the word phone book is very nostalgic. Is anybody here as old as I am and remembers what a phone book is? They were so big and heavy. And sometimes when you would like smell the ink, it smelled so intoxicating. Am I weird? I'm probably weird. I'm also somebody who loved the smell like um, CD cases and stuff and, and like magazine pamphlets because it just smelled so good. I don't know. I'm so weird. Anyway, I'm noticing here that there's an obedience trainer and I'm very, very, very tempted to hire one, but I don't want to mess up the story. 
So I'm going to like refrain from doing so. But I'm definitely thinking this could come in handy in the future. Anywho, I'm going to have Alice call the repairman. Hopefully they take like emergency calls. I also had her using her cell phone, which is kind of cute. I'm sorry, but all of her plumbers are swamped right now. Maybe try again tomorrow. How did I know that was going to happen? And why? Why could I picture Alice standing in the front yard in her pajamas, her nightgown, mind you, yelling at nerbanish, nerb, nerb, noob, noob. Like she is swearing in simlish right now. And just as she is about to have the biggest BF in her front yard <laughs> where all the drama happens, like just picture this for a minute. I'm really setting the scene. I can imagine Thomas walking up to Alice and being like, Alice, is everything OK? Completely catching her off guard and serving her a big <laughs> big dish of embarrassment. Yeah, that is what I'm picturing right now. So anyway, Thomas has finally arrived. I feel like it's kind of early. It's like, what, 1.30ish? Somewhere in there, almost two. And this is Miss Lucy. What a pretty girl. She's so cute. One thing I will say about the, the, the animals and dogs and just everything in The Sims 2, they're, they're a little derpy looking. They're <laughs> It's the best. I love it. I think they're so cute. So let's just see what Thomas wants and uh, try to try to lay down our straight hairs and get our ish together. Hey, it's my buddy Thomas. I should greet him. Maybe he can help. Thomas has just shown up to the house for our doggy play date. My floor is a mess and I'm not prepared for his visit yet. I guess I'll have to let him know what's going on. Me? <laughs> I'm a whiz with a wrench. Let me at that sink. And Thomas, you didn't have to say it like that right now. He is just he's he's got the sweat bag in the bag. I kind of want to see how good he is with those hands. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. No, he's really, he is really working that wrench and in no time flat, it's fixed. I mean, he is really going in hard though, but I mean, I love a man that's good with his hands. Now Alice looks like she's over here. She's eating. Um, this would be a good time to kind of sneak a little clean in. So we're going to recycle, recycle both newspapers. And then I think I need Alice to get in here and she needs to change into her clothes because there's no reason why she still needs to be in her nighty. You fixed my sink. Oh, thank you so much. Once the kitchen is clean, we can go out and play with the dogs. I need to clean up this water on the floor before I can relax. I don't want something to happen to this floor. Replacing it would be way too expensive. I thought she was going to be worried about like Thomas slipping and falling, but no, she's worried about how expensive it would be to replace. That's that's kind of comical. Oh, Thomas. Oh, can I like put a ring on it right now? Because not you coming out here, cleaning up the pee pee stains on my floor. Like that's amazing. The kitchen looks clean to me. Let's go outside and play with the dogs. I should play fetch with Lucy to introduce myself to her. Lucy is such an adorable dog. She and Sam look like they could become great friends. I haven't seen Sam this happy in a long time. I should play fetch with Lucy. The best part is they really do look like they could be great friends. And Sam does look super happy. I feel bad almost trying to play fetch with Lucy because obviously we're gonna get in the middle of all this and it's cute. I love it. But we're gonna fetch because that's our next goal and uh, I really do want to get to know Miss Lucy a little bit more. All right, Lucy, don't try to show off now. We don't want to hurt Sam's ego. You're really great with dogs, Alice. Oh, I almost forgot. I've had this large dog training contraption burning a hole in my pocket this whole time. You should use it to train Sam for the show. I should go. I have to work it in bed. Bye, Alice. Thanks for the doggy date. I should find a place for this teeter-totter and then get Sam to use it successfully. Anyone else kind of feeling very disappointed that that was like the shortest doggy date ever? I wish we would have been able to hang out more with Thomas, but let's go into our rewards and check out our brand new contraption. It's interesting because it was burning a hole in his pocket and now it's going to burn a hole in ours because it's 185 simoleons. I feel like these things should be free, especially if they've been gifted to us, but there's only nothing I can do about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this bad boy over here, I'm trying to kind of create like a little obstacle course in our backyard. I see now why we have such a big backyard. Thomas was kind enough to give me this training equipment so that Sam and I could practice for the show. Alice has been pretty adamant about wearing that nightgown. So at this point, you know, it's like what, almost nine at night. I'm going to leave her in her nighty. She just ate two entire plates of salad 
y'all that was crazy two plates two entire plates so she is feeling a lot better and then i think sam was in here also chowing down i feel like at this point now that our stomachs are settled we could probably go outside and start practicing on the teeter-totter and of course <laughs> he's messing up our bench also side note my my, my, my fiance not my boyfriend my fiance he's um sleeping right now he's not feeling too good i feel like everybody is just getting so sick lately anyways i'm trying to be quiet so if you notice i'm i'm getting a little i'm getting a little saucy i'm not trying to see you see you i'm really not <laughs> i'm just trying not to yell <laughs> so with that oh hi sam he's he's just staring right into my soul right now so let's go back into the backyard and train sam i feel like once we run through some of these um obstacles at least like once he gets it like he's a fast learner so i'm really hoping that he'll be able to grasp the teeter-totter too here we go come on sam you can do it <laughs> don't embarrass me sam just balance your weight and you'll be fine no nope, he doesn't like the teeter-totter i love how she's like clapping for him like you can do it you can make it come on come on sam come on sam he's like oh well snacks you're not getting snacks okay sam if you successfully complete this obstacle i'll give you all the snacks that you want it's been hours that we've been out here i don't even know what time it is right now but for some reason poor sam is just really 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 hesitant to cross the teeter-totter and i really think it just boils down to like his comfortability and his skill level because every time he gets so close he he turns back and now he's just laying on it like <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> Wait, did that count? Oh my gosh. I don't want to yell, but good job, Sam. Well, at least Sam didn't destroy everything today because the kitchen sink decided to break on its own. Thomas was nice enough to come over and fix a bunch of things for me. He also brought his dog Lucy with him. So Sam got to burn up some energy playing with her. I hope. <laughs> it's time to get some much needed rest and dream of a better day tomorrow. Congratulations, you've unlocked the story Midnight Masquerade on the main menu, where you can play as Stephen Loyal. But don't forget, Alice still needs your help. I think I read in the comments of the first chapter that the Midnight Masquerade was a really good story, so I'm super eager to dive into that. But obviously, we gotta finish this one first. Also, another thing that I've, I've noticed, YouTube really hates when you deviate from your normal content and try anything new, because the views obviously significantly drop. But I just want to point it out because I know I've had people pointed out to me and sometimes they're really rude about it like I really don't care like I really don't care I post content because I enjoy it I post content because I love it and I just love sharing my sims experience with you guys and even if I get a thousand views or a hundred thousand views on a video it really doesn't matter because I look at the I look at the bigger picture that's still a thousand people who are watching this or maybe two thousand or three thousand or whatever it is that is a lot of freaking people that are invested into the story you know it just sucks because i feel like a lot of creators can get discouraged when they try something new and it doesn't necessarily um give them the same results as maybe their typical content would and so this is my reminder try something new you might enjoy it who cares I mean, if if it doesn't, you know, draw in as big of an audience, I just I mean, I think sometimes as a community, we get too caught up on the numbers. I'm definitely guilty of that. And I just think we need to follow our passions more because that at the end of the day is what YouTube is. It's just like a diary, a collection of what your passion is it's a showcase of your passion anyways i didn't mean to go on that tangent i just really wanted to get that off my chest i think i'm gonna wrap up this chapter here it was really short and i hate when that happens but um a few of you have really appreciated me going through the story chapter by chapter it's easier to follow and maybe if you did want to play alongside me you can and i'm not going to give you any spoilers or ruin the story for you anyways i think alice is working on another painting so maybe we'll just finish this really quick we can probably um play around i don't know what's going on with um sam but i think i'm going to praise him oh no 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 we're gonna scold him for being hostile i wanted to praise him for completing the teeter-totter because i also got a comment that i need to give him more snacks <laughs> And so I think he definitely deserves a treat. Now, I really do want Alice to come over here and recycle this dirty newspaper. It is like two o'clock in the morning, I think. And so we should probably turn in because I feel like we're going to have a very busy, busy, busy day tomorrow. Um, I'm going to have her go and sleep in her pajamas.
pajamas and it says your sim is trying to get your attention because they are very tired of them sleeping okay jesus alice i've never had um a sim in in any of the like the story series like flag me down like that that is really funny and like i'm telling you alice don't play alice does not play at all anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this week's episode here even though it was short i hope as always you enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next week <laughs> bye guys